the top right side of Overgrowth, we have our uh, Teal Zerg player. Um, I don't know the game. Triple uh, A. He's playing for Triple A, which is a uh, French team, and he is BSK. And to the bottom left, spawned in blue from Clan ECV, it's Noski. EC visualize. All it's right. Trick by BSK. Haven't Ooh. seen that in a long time. Well, he is going for a pretty early pool, but we have the scouting coming for Snovsky, so he scouts it out. Let's see what BSK actually makes of this. Yeah, it's pretty interesting since he uh, put down a pylon on the low ground, so he's going for a forge fast expand here, which is also pretty unusual. Uh, it all depends on how many how many zirklings he's actually going to get. Of course, mm -hmm. the fur initial zirklings. Possibly two more, but then afterwards, that's uh, the decision point. And we already have Snovsky going for the forge. So he's going to try uh, the uh, forge wall off here, or forge fast expand with uh, a couple cannons coming up before the Nexus, I would assume. Did you just listen to me? Because I was just saying that. <laughs> uh, well, I, I sometimes I tune now. <laughs> Alright, yeah, so know. we have a couple of, couple of Zerklings making their way towards um, Snovsky's base. Everything depends now whether you can wall off this uh, soon enough. Uh, the base will get up in time, uh, the, the, the cannon will get up in time, but the question is if those Zerklings will just run by the cannon or not. Oh, he decides to go for the Nexus first, although he already knows that Lings are coming. This is quite interesting. Yeah, BSK is trying to make an easy, uh, quick game out of that. Okay. And he might be able to, because right now Snovsky doesn't have enough minerals to put up the, uh, the gateway. But I think he will once all the Zerklings get here. Yep. Yeah, if he puts it down there, I mean the Zerklings have to walk a long way around. So, uh, ah, but now he's moving in the Overlord so that the Lings will just get by. What a nice move here. He just moved the Overlord forward so that the cannon would start firing at the Overlord. And then he moved inside the base with the remaining Zerklings. That was quite a pretty awesome move here. Yeah, and now five Zerklings in the base of Snovsky. Uh, that's actually um, just a little bit troublesome for him. Um, oh, yeah, to be so annoying. Every Protoss player hates to deal with these annoying Zerglings, exactly. Because he, I mean, you can see it, he can't really mine um, without being disturbed. So that's a pretty early win for BSK, but well, in the not meantime, match point just yet. And in the meantime, uh, uh, Snovsky is reacting with the only thing he can do, trying to counter uh, Cannon Rush, his opponent's base. Uh, drone pool has been already done, but uh, too late. And the problem is that he only has very few surface to attack the cannon here, and only uh, and only drones there. So he's probably going to use this base as well. So there might be even against that. And in the meantime, he's trying to micro his workers against the remaining links of BSK there. So both players are annoying as hell to each other. Yeah, but I would say that BSK is even a little bit behind because I mean he only has four zirklings in the base. He already lost one. And Snovsky can just happily mine in the main base. He will get a couple of units up soon, I think, because he will have enough minerals. Um, yes, Snovsky has killed so many workers right now. And the cannon is still alive. I think a BSK threw a lot of units at these at these cannons, and we have the next pile even going up. So I think uh, that Snovsky is far ahead in this game, and the first damage being done here on the on the hatchery on the low ground. So yeah, that's definitely not the spot that uh, BSK wants to be in, and there's the 1-0 for Snovsky. Pretty fast game here. I yeah, think these guys want expected. to call it a night, huh? <laughs> I think so. <laughs> I think that's what they're going for. Alright. Yeah, so I'm just checking the link by under Nexus. Um, they currently have 434 euros. Hmm. And that's it's nice still 9 amount. days left. Okay. That's a very nice amount. Huh? Four players and everyone who's going to profit from this pool. All right, let, let me check um, what what they actually get uh, for the next package. Cause okay, where we where are we? Don't forget the invite. Yep, getting the invite right there. Um, starting at five hundred euros, there's going to be a community day on Saturday with pro gamer coaching and a separate tournament. I would mm -hmm. think. Mm-hmm. If they get 666 euros, uh, there's going to be more food, <laughs> more prizes, and just more 
everything. Which sounds fun. Oh, not bad, not bad. Mm -hmm. And I still haven't, um, <laughs> I still haven't spent anything, so... <laughs> oh, how dare you. <laughs> yep, but I'm advertising it, so that helps. Okay, and I will, uh, I will. If they don't get close to 500, then I'll spend the remainder. Um, the main fund, thing the, fund the whole thing, the community Saturday. The main thing is it helps. Let's hope they get pretty close. <laughs> Alright fellas, so I think we're about to get into the next game. It's gonna be played out on King Seon Station. Yeah, and Belnoir um, congratulating uh, BSK or um, Snofsky on his idea to uh, go for the counter cannon. Which, he is right, I mean that's uh, actually a pretty good idea and one of the best answers in that situation. Yeah, right, since all your links, or since all his links are down in your base anyways, mm. <laughs> they can't defend his own base. So. And no, I'm if still kind of curious defend... why he didn't uh, save up a little more minerals, a couple more minerals, and uh, just put on the second gate, because that way he would have been just fine. Mm. Yeah, he could maybe, have still maybe... gone for the counter cannon rush. Mm. Yeah, maybe. I don't know what, um, what made him decide not to fully wall off at that point, because he sure would have been able to do so. Especially if he just hadn't been too greedy and go for the um, for his own nexus after the cannon, but I think he just thought that he could manage it anyways, and he did. So who are we to criticize him for his exactly game exactly? <laughs> All right, let's get started here on the bottom half of King Seon Station. On the bottom right, we have our teal Zerg player playing for AAA. It is BSK. And to the top left, in dark blue, playing for ECV, it's the Proto Snowski. And he's up 1-0, defending the, um, what was that actually, a 10 pool? I didn't see the timing on the pool. Um, me neither. Mm, let's see, you said, you talked about the extractor trick when it already had a little bit of energy. Um, so maybe... Like eight pool or something like that. Yeah, that could be. From an eight pool, you can advance a little bit easier into. Yeah, the exactly. Macro you game. can always go for the macro game with an eight pool. But that same same goes for a ten pool or something like yeah. that. Yeah. Well, well, eight pool, eight pool really is the eight pool is really the, the lowest margin where you can still do it. I mean, six or seven pool is <laughs> totally all in. But from an eight pool, you can like go for a queen first to get um, uh, to to get um, your larvae count going and mm -hmm. then you can expand uh, something so you can get back into a macro game easier it's still pretty difficult to do but uh, you can do it there's an option not with a six or seven pool all right by the way um this was a 15 pool <laughs> <laughs> yeah we have uh, a pool first again uh, i think bsk has learned his lesson mm, he doesn't want to get rushed can rushed again so he goes for a pool first Going to be a little more, a little bit more of a standard game, and yeah. going for the hatchery right after that. So well, I think I think he's just realized that his overlord crossed the path with uh, Snowski's probe there, so he's going to be um, quite relaxed there because the probe is coming very late, so it's probably not going to can rush here, and of course he won't be able since his opponent went for a gateway first. But uh, yeah, he knows that by the timing the probe arrives at his base, that there won't be any can rush shenanigans. And Snofsky only, um, uh, still only on one gas, so I think we should be seeing a second Nexus here, and he's second, and he's moving out his probe, so yeah, I think uh, that's gonna be placed down. And just the first Zealot finishing up right there. Did he cancel the Zealot? Yeah. I think uh, he might have cancelled the Zealot because he uh, checked the timing on the pool, checked that um, only workers in production. Um, and the third? Did he see the third already? No, he nope, didn't. Nope, he didn't. No, he didn't. And the probe is making its way back. And now we have another zealot started. But I think with only two links, he can just uh, deal with it um, even yeah. without having a zealot. He has the mothership core there, yeah. so that's going to be easily, uh, easily dealt with. Yeah, the, the, the first Zealot he just then uh, interrupted the building was uh, just a precautious 
um, measure there because he just wanted to have something in case his opponent was going for an early pool there. But then he saw that he wasn't, so he cancelled the Zealot because he knew that uh, the Monster Pool would be more than enough for uh, a few links that would uh, be only streaming in. And the next link is there, and he's gonna scout out the third, and I like this. Um, he's probably just gonna stay at the third, maybe a little bit hidden, just to see the timing when Snofsky tries to put this out. But for now, we have a little bit of a push coming. Um, just a single zealot uh, with a mothership core, so nothing all that much to worry about. But there are three gateways behind this uh, already in production, so he can go for a little bit of a uh, warp gate timing here. Yeah, he just checks barely for the third uh, with his mothership core there, seeing that there is a third. Okay, now Lings are surrounding the zealot, but there's the mothership core which can't be attacked, but there are the queens also moving out. Uh, time time warp comes in, should save the zealot, and we do have um, we do have the. Proxy Palm in position. So a couple more Zelts are coming in. So far, not uh, the creep threat is not going all that well. So uh, BSK needs to retreat with these queens. And yeah, Zelts are moving in. More more Zerklings are in production. Nope, not yet. BSK needs some more Zerklings. That's those are a lot a lot of Zelts already. Yeah, BSK hasn't found the warp-in pylon yet. He knows now that there is uh, one going down on the left side. Uh, he, has only, he only has slow links. How far is speed away from finishing? He hasn't even started speed. No, nope. he's just now going for his third gas. Uh, I mean, he has gas. four queens, which is pretty good, but still more zealots are moving in, and only slow links won't really cut it, especially once the... Um, especially once the Mothership Core has enough energy for Time Warp. He does of course have to watch out not to lose the Mothership Core and then it goes down. Which is a small victory at least for BSK at that point, but now he has only Queens left. Um, yeah. One spine crawler down at the third base and now the Armada of Zealots is just streaming in, trying to tear down every building that has been built there. Ooh, there comes the surround on the spine and ooh, one transfuse, two transfuse, third transfuse goes down. But now with the sentries I think he can clear this up. Here comes the first force field, not doing all that much, but so far a good starter step out coming out of the Queens. Oh, these zealots are just dishing out so much damage once they come close to anything. Yep, and he's morphing in more and more of them. Uh, two more Queens are being produced, a couple more links as well. I mean, this third is of course going to fall, but maybe BSK can kind of minimize the damage here. Uh, but yes. for every zealot he kills, there's two more just being warped in. Yeah, he's doing really nicely, I have to admit. He's trying to desperately do whatever he can to manage this situation. However, he just doesn't have the tools left. Now I think he's managed to throw down a Roach Warren, but it is far from completing. And even if it does complete, there's still a problem with m morphing in any um, Roaches uh, for a long time. So, well, I don't yeah. know. I mean, he, he has. A, uh, he started a little bit of gas. Ooh, nice, nice force, force fields, cutting off three of these queens. The fourth one, ooh, it's taken out as well. Three falling. Uh, there comes the transfuse on the fifth. Uh, so only five queens, and that's a strong gateway army. Um, is there a follow up for Snofsky though? Uh, I don't think there is, but he's still doing pretty well so far as far as the worker game is concerned. Uh, Twenty-eight probes, but. 50, wow, 50 drones, and now the roaches will be moving in soon, so um, I'm afraid that Snofsky doesn't really have a follow-up to this. And even if the base is taken out, if he doesn't kill, um, if he doesn't kill BSK outright, I think he could make a comeback. Ooh, and there goes, oh, uh, nope, not quite, almost getting some of these sentries. And the sentries are actually really vital to, B uh, to Snofsky's composition here. I mean, the first roaches are out now, but still, these are so many zealots and some stalkers behind that. I think he should just move up the ramp and try to kill him right there, because I really think he does have the tools. The queens are pretty low on energy, except for a few of them. Now he does so, he just traps them. Again, some, again, some, some nice right force here. fields, getting two queens, third one will fall as well. So only four queens left and a couple of roaches. I don't think that's enough roaches for, to deal with this, though. There comes yes. another nice force field. Oh, that uh, was actually a force field that was nicer for his opponent there, because now the zealots cannot really engage the roaches here. Yeah, but, but still, we got two queens and two roaches for that exchange. Another queen moving in from the top. And the drones are actually helping out quite a bit here as well. I think this might be enough for BSK to clear it up. Nope, there's reinforcements coming in. 
Uh, it still might be close, but he lost a lot of workers in the process. Um, 38 mm -hmm. drones, uh, 30, 38, uh, 40 probes rather, to 32 workers. So I think Snowski finally managed to turn it around. Um, I do hope that he noticed though, because uh, he needs he needs to realize that he actually got a lot of workers out of this. Yeah, well, the thing is that, uh, that that's actually uh, now now BSK is actually in a pretty nice position, right? He has thrown down a third base on uh, the top uh, on the top ramp. Uh, there's still the pylon there, but uh, Snovsky won't really be able to morph in that much more aggression until uh, now, especially since these units have uh, just identified where the warp in pylon has been for all the time. Yeah, now he's sitting on two bases while an opponent has his lost third base already um, uh, already in place. Uh, he's on Roach Tech, and his opponent doesn't even have a Robo, I guess. No, yeah, the Robo is just morphing think, in. Yeah, it's just morphing in. Um, you're right, I mean, B uh, Snovsky is on the defensive now. But uh, let's see if he can get his third up. I mean, this is going to be the vital part, and BSK realizes this. He still has the Zirkling position, the Zirkling we talked about initially. He still has it in position, so he knows, okay, there's no third taken. So I can just pressure him, try to keep him contained, and just keep him on these two bases, and uh, try to just outplay him uh, behind this. I mean, he's going for the Hydralis then already. And uh, with Hydras, he's just actually going to be quite versatile in uh, reacting to... Uh, whatever Snovsky is trying to throw at him. Yeah, he's not trying to get in, but Roaches that's actually a very way. bad idea. His roaches, I think, don't have speed, so no, speed is just on the way. So they won't actually won't be able to escape from these stalkers, but uh, luckily for him, Snovsky doesn't decide to follow him. In the meantime, he's sent a sneaky probe over the right half of the map, now planting down a pylon there. Yeah, this was not a good move by BSK. I think he just wanted to go for a little poke and prod, but uh, overextended way too much. Uh, I don't know why. He could have just sent in a single uh, roach to just scout out what Snovsky is doing, and then possibly beat uh, or actually uh, try to trade a couple of force fields. Um, yeah, I think he wanted to threaten him a little bit to to just uh, put the fear of God into his enemy, so that he would be able to drone more heavily behind this because his opponent would just be afraid to move out at some point. Okay, probe has been found, the roaches are following, but they are just too damn slow! Yeah, I think this probe is just gonna be fine. Nope, not if it just sits there. But so in the meantime we have off. DTs warping in at yep. the right half. How did Day9 say so well when behind? Yep, but we have spore crawls in position, a couple units, so if they actually attack the third, um, they're going to be taken out in no time. And there we go, bam, attacking, bam, 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 bam. and he will get the kill in the first one. What about the second one, though? We have and there's him. a warp prism moving yep. into the main base. Warp prism with two DTs towards the main base. There's a spore here in position as well, and a no single units. hydra to deal with this. This is not going to be enough, and the hydra is taken out. But I think with the remaining hydras, he can deal out enough damage to... Yep. He will this deal did. enough damage to just get rid of these DTs. This did almost nothing. Yeah, one DT on the map has he... No, he now has a little bit of map presence, but only until some overseers are out. Uh, but in the meantime, he was able to take a third base, uncontested, which is, of course, quite viable for Snowski and absolutely needed. Um, he's Let's going see how he, how he faces off against this Roach Hydra army. Um, yeah. Plus two is already in uh, in production. He's getting spine crawlers behind this just to uh, stay mm -hmm. safe at home. Uh, um, he's going to clear up the uh, the proxy panel, of course. And uh, with this army moving in, I think Snovsky's third base might be in trouble. Yeah, actually, his main force because he's already moving out. He only has one immortal, and it's pretty. Um, pretty low on health already, and now the Stalker Hydra mostly, actually it's a 50-50 or m even more Hydras than, than Roaches. So even Force Hydras, Fields won't be that good. Yeah, so we'll be, oh, there's the first oh, Colossus, that might first have opened. Colossus, oh, the first only one, a single send immediately. Oh, come on! Oh, he's gonna try to snipe it, oh, and it he does That's so. It. Good job out of BSK, he's gonna take this fight. Uh, there's not going to be anything about it. Oop, yeah, not even getting the uh, photon overcharge ready on the Nexus. So there are DTs now, and that's, that's of course the saving sake here for Snovsky in this case, because now his uh, forces have to retreat. Where is the Overseer? He can't, he can't, didn't you realize that there are DTs in the mix? Oh no, he does. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's kind of weird not having an Overseer in position, and uh, even the DT and the Natural, which did some damage, uh, at least got the Spine. So that uh, was saving grace for Snovsky. 
buying him a little bit of time. I don't think it was enough though. Uh, he did get a single Archon up and another Colossus out. Second Colossus might be coming out and I think with the second Colossus he might have enough to, to stop this army by BSK here. Uh, he actually lost quite a bit in that last engagement and just now starting to produce Wipers which I don't think will be ready for the next fight but there we go. He's trying to go for it again. Second Colossus not quite ready. It's, co it's coming in now. And it's dealing a lot of damage, but the first one gets sniped out! Good job by BSK, just darting in, getting that first Colossus taken out. But the Gateway is doing a good job shielding the remainder of the army. The second Colossus still in the back, still taking, uh, taking some damage. But the probes are being pulled. The land hasn't been done for this Colossus, so it always has to attack from close range, where the other units can just snipe him. Oh. So far, Snofsky holds. Yeah, but uh, now he does the uh, exactly correct move, he just moves into the third, trying to kill uh, stuff as much as he can over there, because he just knows that his opponent's army cannot really engage him, and maybe he can... Oh, there's a Viper even coming from the <laughs> right hand side. Oh, there comes the pull, and the final kill, final blow on the Colossus. Let's see what the Remax is going to be. Oh, BSK losing a lot at home to these DTs. Didn't get this another Spore up. Um, let's see, check the... Workers or resources lost by the 38 drones were killed here. So uh, that's actually a lot. Ouch. And Snofsky's just doing a good job staying in this game and getting more Colossi out to deal with this. However, he doesn't have an answer to these Vipers yet. No High Templars. Uh, he is working on this High Templar tech, going, uh, going to get started on the Templar archives. Well, but that's still a long way to go. Yeah, uh, speed roaches moving across the map, and there's no sentries there, but it's not that much, that that many roaches. So uh, no. the next boss uh, ooh, is I don't know what he does ready. there. He might be, oh, he might get stuck between the base and the units. There's a time warp, and ooh, actually he could have been, he could have lost there, uh, could have lost a lot more there. BSK still trying to get in, he just wastes these roaches trying to By the do way, much... amazing job just corrupting the robo to delay the Colossus production. Yeah. And he has another Viper ready, so I think he can snipe out this Colossus as well. And he's just gonna reinforce with mostly roaches a couple of Hydras, just to be a little bit more flexible, but this is a pretty potent army. Plus yeah. two on the roaches, almost plus three. Uh, where comes the pull on the Colossus? There it goes down, and Colossus will be focused down. And I think with this, he might have enough to just overrun Snavsky. Yeah, there's the DT warping again, and uh, I think uh, BSK just realized that his opponent doesn't have any force fields left, so he just moved in with mostly roaches, because without force fields, roaches are pretty good. Oh, and the, the other... DTs are saving grace again. Yeah. Without the DTs, he could have just overrun this army, but no overseers in position. Uh, BSK making the same mistake twice here. I don't think I like this at all. Yeah. He's still in a better position. He has his fourth base up already and saturated. He's on uh, well, only 62 workers now. I think he wants to add some more, and there he does. So, yeah, he's pretty saturated overall. He has taken nah, not all of the four gases, so I really wonder what he's going to do next. I mean, he already has the infestation pit. He already has hive. He could do anything from here. So, but he still decides to go for Roach Hydra. Yeah, more Roaches, more Hydras, uh, a couple of Vipers, but I don't know, you're right, I mean, he only has this uh, fifth gas, or no, wait, never mind, that's the seventh gas, gas taken, mm -hmm. uh, no eighth gas yet, and not all that many, uh, all that many workers. Now so we have some high six workers. Mm. Yeah, now we have some high templars on the field, but storm not yet ready. Only a few seconds from finishing. These high templars are probably going to have enough energy once storm finishes. So then these hydros will die even quicker, and especially the vipers will be fended off by feedbacking them. Uh, so that's a yeah. lot of DPS. He's just gonna dish in there, uh, deal the damage, take the third out, and then get away. And oh. Turns around, it storm stands in a nice concave, game. but those are some amazing storms, killing most of the Hydras in that engagement, and a good time work to follow it up. Stalkers are moving in, and we'll get a couple more shots off, but not quite enough to finish off this army. But a good hold for Snavsky, losing that third is just, oh, that is really bad for him, and he's it's not even in a position to take a for another third base. No, he actually just delayed the inevitable, so yep. uh, he's, he's probably going to die in just a few more minutes.
uh, once BSK decides to move in for the final kill, since now he's been he's now he's down to actually only one mining base, and it's very very dry. He tries to open the rocks to maybe take a secret base on the other half of the map. He knows that he has to do something economy wise, so he tries to double expand. But that uh, it just actually hurts him in the end because that's also a position for BSK to just dart in uh, with a couple of speed roaches, maybe take a couple more workers out. Oh, another nice storm hitting a lot of these Hydras, but he's making a good job, uh, he's doing a good job just splitting his army, and now the Vipers are in position, he just needs to watch out that uh, nice feedbacks here. could no, be in. No detection available, the roaches are just burning, we rolled an army, and there's a corruption, no, there's even the um, mining cloud going on, oh, just racking down everything the Protoss have after coming into close quarters. Yeah, wow, what a smart nice. move by BSK. He yeah. left his Hydras behind, who even dances him in the end. He left his Hydras behind to not get hit by the by the Colossi and just try to move in with the Roaches, um, take out the Colossus, maybe grab the second one as well, and it just worked out beautifully. I mean, that's a safe way to end this game, and um, yeah, good job. Uh, by BSK to come back and make the 1-1 one -one possible. So we're going to see a third game in the semi-final. BSK making it pretty interesting for us. Alright, got the invite. <laughs> Sotek hyping us in chat. Thank you, Sotek. <laughs> Thanks, Sotek. I mean, with so many other events going on, I think there is even a third tournament coming up now. Yep, RSTL Finals. Okay. So this was probably not the best go for to go for. <laughs> uh, by the way, um, the game is starting. Okay, whoa. Join real quick. Yeah, 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 I'm coming. coming. <laughs> All right, got that going. All right, let me just put out a tweet. Finals of SO3 as well, right? Indeed. Um, unless the players choose to, um, oh, choose to play a best of five. <laughs> no, they won't. <laughs> okay. Always have those updates ready. All right. Let's get started here on. Cataliner Ladder Edition in the bottom right corner. We have our Teal Zerg playing for Team Triple A. He is BSK. And to the 12 o'clock position in dark blue, the Protoss from ECV Snowski. BSK really making that uh, comeback possible in the last game. Um, I mean, yeah, it wasn't it wasn't really clean clean cut or anything, but I like the way he dealt with it. Um, yeah. Just never end never end this pressure, um, trying to just poke and prod, do as much damage as he can, see um, what Snafsky is doing, and just keep him on two bases. He kept him for two bases um, for such a long time, mm -hmm. which allowed him to even stay on that low tech. I mean, he was only on Roaches and Hydras with a little bit of, um, yeah, a little bit of these Vipers mixed in. Yep. But that's usually not something you see into the late game, but if you keep your opponent on, on low amount of bases all game long, you can you can make it work. And yeah. he did. He was really keeping the pressure up, and I was really impressed by that hold. Uh, well, actually, not, not then really hold, but how long he held out with only queens, merely, and uh, a few links at the third base, making uh, Snofsky to really overcommit at some point and uh, not going for any more tech or any more bases, which finally led to that awful position he find, uh, he found himself in after that push up to the third base. That only got him the third base, but once he retreated, his opponent already had another third base up, so it didn't really manage to do that much. Oh, and what are we going to see oh. here? There's a drone pull! Yep, um, I think it was a 10, uh, I think it was a 10 pull, but might have been an 8 pull as well. And he's just producing links, so this is gonna be all in, out of BSK. And we already have the wall going up for Snafsky. Um, it's a forged gateway. Uh, I think he might be fine. Cannon should be coming up now. Yep, first cannon goes up. Well, second cannon, cannon moving time. in soon. 
And he's just gonna just get a couple more minerals up. And if need be, we'll replace that gateway. I don't know, why is Snofsky doing this right now? I mean, oh, he, he even... Ooh. What did he do? He just... He cancelled it. I don't know why exactly. Did he Maybe cancel his wall? What the heck is that? Okay, that's kind of weird. I mean, yeah. with that gone, I think BSK is just going to take this game. Yeah. Yeah, he will. What what else is going to stop him? I mean, yeah, there he has uh, tried to maybe get some time to buy some time to get these cannons up in the main base behind the mineral line, but uh, and maybe yeah, one cannon is going to finish. Uh, so yeah, maybe maybe his mineral line is going to be safe for now. Oh, I don't know oh, if SK that's... should really engage there. There are two cannons dishing out the damage, plus the probes and everything. Everything yeah, nice by SK just I, dies. I think Wait. he can deal with this now. Um, yeah. I mean, and it's of course. 13 supply versus 14 supply, but 13 workers versus 5, and the remaining Zerglings are not going to do all that much with the well, cannons in position. Yeah, you, sh you shouldn't, of course, walk up into that base. That's something you shouldn't do at all. I mean, he's trying to go for the Nexus because the cannons just can't reach him there, and he, he should maybe tear down some more of these buildings down here as well to do some more damage. But yeah, of course. Oh, yes, be careful not to get surrounded, not to get these things surrounded, uh, and he does match it barely. Okay, yeah, maybe it's still pretty low, and uh, with the position that Snofsky is in, I think he can just put out another cannon if he wants to and just secure his Nexus in the main. And out of BSK, there is no real follow up coming in. Uh, he is producing drones now again, but he needs to catch up, and that's not gonna make it happen. Oh, and there comes the surround out of Snofsky, and this should be game, uh, yeah. unless BSK does decide to, um, yeah. I don't know, set it out, which wouldn't make all that much sense. It's currently 13 workers versus 12. Gateway is, is finishing up and we're still on one base for BSK. Um, is he going to expand anytime soon? It doesn't look like it. Um, there's more links coming in. So, uh, I mean, he's gonna try a final push here, but with the gateway now being done and the first cell already being chrono boosted out, Snofsky's in a good position to defend this. Yeah, the thing is that um, BSK might be ahead in workers by just a small margin, but uh, the problem is that his opponent has already started his gateway. Well, he doesn't really have that much tech left. He cannot really expand down to that part. There's an overload hanging there showing him whenever um, an expansion would go up. Uh, he needs to wait for uh, um, um, a core and maybe a mothership, but he cannot really get it because he has lost a lot of probes as well. So Snowski is trying to get himself back in into that game, I don't know how well is this how well this is going to work out. There's a cannon in building now, but he uh, has to cancel again it. being cancelled. So not bad by BSK, just putting on uh, the relentless pressure and trying to get this ca uh, yeah get this expansion uh, stop it from going down. And in the meantime, he has put down his own expansion there. Okay, Snowski just has to take a break. <laughs> Can't handle the pressure. <laughs> Maybe he has to ask. In the meantime, what BSK actually um, is leading in the worker game right now, just by two drones, and the second uh, expansion is not quite up. But I mean, Snarsky only has a single zealot, so it's gonna be a little bit troublesome for him to get that natural up and running uh, with a single zealot. The uh, second one is coming in, but two zealots versus uh, seven links right now. I don't know. Um, if they yeah, all like I said, stay together, but they, I mean, they can just outmaneuver him all day long. Yeah, yeah, and like I said, it's it's very likely that he has to wait until he can get an exp uh, that he has to wait for an expansion until he's get his mothership core, and that is still ages ago because he doesn't even has taken gas. He's now pulling probes uh, in order to fend off more of these links, but that's not actually a very good idea. I think he wanted to fight with probes and the zealot here, but he's just. Ah, uh, he's and now he's supply blocked because the links have been killing all the buildings down here. Okay, now two zealots are coming in. They are enough to fend off these links, especially together with two probes. Now he's trying to get an expansion there, but there are more links rallied in, so he might not be able to hold it with only two zealots there. Yeah, what a weird game coming out of these two. Uh, more more drones being produced by BSK. He's now uh, advancing in the uh, in the economic game. Oh, might actually get these two zealots killed here, and with more links coming in. Oh, nice micro by Slavsky. Very really well Really good done. job, keeping the zealots and the forge alive. So I don't think PSK is actually going to follow this up with more links. Uh, instead of just droning up, uh, getting his first gas up and running. Uh, just to stand the counter pressure, and this is still an open game for both of these players. 22 workers for Slavsky, 33 for BSK. 
So he's a little bit ahead, but not by all that much. Yeah, BSK now moving his overlords to this observation point here at the high ground. Uh, and now Snowski is moving out with the first three dullets. I wish that BSK had produced two more links just to put them in front of the uh, natural ramp. Yeah, so you really want to see able that. To see that. Yeah, and exactly. now I don't know, he, has, he doesn't have any defenses there. He even was, uh, he was even greedy enough to take his own third base here, but he doesn't really have anything to defend it. There's only one queen, two queens. Uh, and the Roach Warren is just finishing up. He doesn't have all that much gas, just a couple of roaches will be able to get produced. I don't but think he can Fortunately for base. him, Snovsky is going for the third, so uh, he also doesn't have a proxy pilot in the position. I think BSK will have enough to deal with this. Four roaches are in production. Uh, the queen is already moving in. He might lose the third, but I'm not even sure of that. Uh, if he's well, if he's microing well with his queens with the roaches, I think he might be able to keep. Nope, there comes the castle out of the third. Yeah, and Stargate in production for Snovsky behind this. Uh, he's now taken his uh, natural base. He's starting to saturate it, and uh, he's one queen uh, might go down here. Here comes the snipe, and even keeping the Zealot alive. No! Ooh, don't move him back! He's off creep! Oh no, it is on creep again, so yeah. Okay. Snovsky really making the most out of these Zealots, especially those two that have been down to like five or six health there. Okay, Roach following this Zealot. Actually, he could just send the Zealot to this Roach. A Zealot beats a Roach in 101 if nobody micros. Yeah, and he will do just that, but we'll get one Zell kill out of this. So, in the meantime, a few roaches moving across the map to be a, a Tusnovsky's base. There's one cannon in place, but the ramp is open. Ooh, there's no sentry in position, and the cannon's not actually in position to take out uh, take out these roaches. Single roach getting shot, but he's just going to move back and will kill the forge. And thus Which is a big it. deal, because that uh, actually allows, or would have allowed Snovsky to make a gateway uh, follow-up possible. And probes are being pulled. Oh, the Void Ray is not quite done here. He's trying to Corona boost it out. And these roaches, they just stay surrounded by the probes. Uh, that's not a good idea here by BSK. You could just move into the main, but I think he's oh, still he's doing even... so much damage with yeah. this. That, and that's what um, he actually wants. He really wanted to kill off as many probes as possible to get the to get the drone lead and the, econo the uh, economical lead. So that he might be able to turn this game around. Because if you just have a look at the... Um, supply counts, you see that BSK is at... Uh, no, actually, what am I saying? It's no, it's the idea that Snovsky is right behind and BSK is in front. I just mixed up the supply counts. Forget what I said. <laughs> yeah, it's 100 versus 33. Right. And just killing all these workers uh, allows him to just max out on roaches. Uh, he does have layer attack available. He's going for a burrow upgrade now as well, or for the plus one missile attacks. So he will um, he will transition into Roach Hydra again if that actually needs to happen. Because right now he's just rallying Roaches, and will do that quite happily because he knows that uh, Snovsky can't put out too many Void Rays with the uh, little resources he has. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, even more Roaches streaming across the map. He's trying to do as much damage as possible. It doesn't really matter to him that these units are shooting at him. He just tries to kill as many probes as he can. He knows that his opponent does not really have the time to replenish them. And uh, yeah, just pressuring, uh, just pressuring continuously up to that front until the Demodal came out. Because now the Roaches won't do as good as he wants them to do. So he just pulls back for the meantime, but he will be back in just a few minutes. I would actually love to see a couple of links in that mix, and just as I say that 22 links are in production. Yeah. Just getting a couple of links, a couple of Hydras, because now with the Immortals out, just getting a couple of links to um, occupy that Immortal, try to surround it, and um, then get the final... Oh, okay, there is the GG, and BSK takes it! Uh, yeah. I think he might have seen what was incoming. 